it's costing us really the earth. If food waste was a country, it would be the third biggest emitter of methane gas and emissions after US and China. We're so fortunate to partner with organisations like Oz Harvest, who are just led by exemplary people like Ronnie, who are able to really connect with their purpose and bring that to not just the workplace, but the community at large. My name is Ronnie Khan. I'm the founder and CEO of Oz Harvest Food Rescue Organisation. I wanted to know why I'd been put on this earth, other than just earning a living and doing the routine things in a day. In my business life, I kept seeing good food go to waste. I was creating surplus food at all of my events, and I needed a solution. And so instead of saying, why doesn't somebody do this? I decided to rescue food that I knew was there and deliver it to hungry people. A third of all food globally goes to waste. In Australia, it equates to $20 billion worth of food every year going to waste. The three million people in Australia who suffer from food insecurity. And how aware do you think leaders are of this? Leaders who are sitting in a position of influence? Yeah, unfortunately not aware enough. Mm. And therefore, it is incumbent on organisations like Oz Harvest to have an education pillar that is hugely important. We are constantly upgrading, growing, adding programs, adding impactful ways that we can solve the problem of surplus food, advocate around surplus food, food waste, better rights for people, and making sure that we're innovative in all the approaches that we do, like creating a free supermarket. Actually, everything we've done has been innovative, taking fresh food that nobody was dealing with and turning it into a wonderful commodity. So disruption in a very real way, it's not about IT and it's, you know, the notion now disruption is the new buzzword. I didn't know I was disrupting. I just knew that there had to be a better way. The biggest asset that a person brings to any leadership is the connection between their head and their heart. And the work that Maximus is doing in the corporate training sector is hugely important. And if we can add value to that, and we can bring more leaders into the community that connect their head and their heart, which means that their business is doing the right thing, but for the right reasons. That business is profit, both to the shareholder, to the community, to our country. And so I think that if we can bring any value to that, and Maximus bringing us this mutuality, it's a beautiful partnership. It's really hard to manage the balance. It's hard to put the time in to really connect with your true authentic self, your purpose, what you're driven by. True leadership is actually managing, running the organisation with that balance of acknowledgement, of purpose for the cause of what your business exists for but understanding the value that it can give back to the wider community and role modeling for the people who work around you. The truth is we are all leaders, every single one of us. We are just leaders without a title. And that's what I want every one of my staff to be. I want them to take responsibility. I want them to understand how important they are to our business, because once they do, then they are living in yeah. their true what I really want to do is put us out of business. And in order to put us out of business, it means that the three million people who suffer from food security need to have the capacity to look after themselves. So it means they need a job. It means they need fulfillment. It means they need dignity. It means that we need to solve the challenges of mental health. We need to solve the problems of homelessness. So my magic wand is let's fix the problems and concentrate on growing healthy, healthy in body, healthy in spirit, healthy in mind people who can fulfill themselves because when you're fulfilled in yourself, then you are rich enough to give back. When leaders live through purpose, it flows through the whole organisation. It changes the way people turn up to work, why they turn up to work and it results in a much more performance driven environment.